be sure that Sean has turned. It's a simple deduction. Mr. Morgan knows that I'm the Balkan. He needs to work with someone from within the organization. He and Sean are both missing from the wedding, according to my source. And Sean has just suggested that we meet at the Pine Barrens. Don't look now, but I'm being set up for an ambush. I assume we'll have to deal with Jason and uh, let Brenda and Sonny enjoy their wedding. Assume nothing, darling. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Sonny Corinthos. <laughs> Congratulations, the bomb. Thanks. Hey! You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, I told the truth as I knew it. Your dad made a decision, now we all have to live with it. to pull something like this. I bet you're all kinds of disappointed it didn't work. Yo, son, my grandma or not? I never slept with Brenda. Well, I said it was the father to protect her. I gave up my rights and I thought that was going to be the end of it. Dante, do not lie to me about this. I swear to you, Ma, I did not sleep with her, okay? I'd never walk away from my own child. You know that. My biggest mistake was turning this whole thing into a secret. Okay, look, I understand woman feeling that she needs to lie to protect her own child. Okay, but I still think that your new stepmother took a terrible advantage of you. My absence will be conspicuous. I agree. I doubt anyone missed me at the ceremony. I will be the loyal and contrite friend at the reception. Mm, that will be very effective. Theo, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have told you about this long ago. I wanted to avoid causing you pain, as always. Your health is so precarious, I... I just wanted to avoid you going through the shock of finding out Brenda had miscarried our grandchild. I understand. I hate leaving you here. I, this place is so dank and musty. Oh, caves are very effective hiding places. I'm fine. Well, when this is all over, Let's go someplace warm and tropical. Hurry along. You provide the diversion at the wedding reception, and I will take care of everything and everyone else. You and 
Theo could... That's good. Yeah. Well, no reason not to enjoy the party. How long do you think they're going to open those doors and we can have some cake? Hopefully soon. I know, right? You should have come to me the minute you found out you were in trouble, Brenda. The family would have helped. You certainly didn't need to depend on Dante Falconieri, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. Word. Well, that's over now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't want to think about anything else right now other than being Sonny's wife. <laughs> Happy tears for Lila, just That's like right. she won. That's hers. Ah, oh, look, if you are beating yourself up for what happened in there, I want you to stop. This, the truth has come to light, but I, the Jekyll wonders if any of us are better for it. Than... Sometimes you can't save people from themselves. I told Sonny the truth. He wanted Brenda. He still married her. Fine. He has to deal with the rude awakening. So you, you see no chance of happiness? No. <laughs> Have you seen Jason? I think he's slipped out during the ceremony. Yeah, as did first Samantha. I, I, I fear that beneath the veneer of wedding celebration, all is not well. Well, I have to say you handled the uh, fireworks from your ex and all the other surprises with a lot of class. And you have a beautiful wife, and the wedding was terrific. You, you knew Cardi was planning from the beginning, didn't you? But you know what? I, you were trying to tell me, but I just... No, you didn't want to hear it, and I understand. That's your prerogative, so... And, well, she failed anyway, so it doesn't matter. We got married. We're going to stay married for the rest of our lives. Fanny? Very nice. Congratulations to both of you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming. So did you really know all about that before the wedding? Yeah. Uh-huh. And did it occur to you to mention anything to Lou? Look, it's not my place in life to run around preempting my adult children's possible heartbreaks. Well, it's she sees the Corinthos and Dante. What's a liar? Always a liar. No, well, don't get your hopes up. She's got a marshmallow heart. With just the right sob story, she could be back in his arms. Hmm. Is that the technique you use with me? <laughs> <laughs> so, were you ever planning on telling me? Would you have believed me if I did? I confronted Brenda before the ceremony. She had every opportunity to leave. No one ever had to know the truth. No, I'm glad I know. I just need to figure out what I want to do. At least no one can accuse his family of being boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a lot of drama. Well, I think that's what made the wedding so beautiful. I mean, the terrible revelation, the bride storming out, the groom opening his heart up to her right in front of everyone, all the while knowing that the real danger is almost completely over. Right. What do you mean, danger? Well, uh, just that we shouldn't worry about danger after such a perfect wedding. Because we're all here together now. We're a family. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. All right, uh, sorry, everybody, for waiting. Yes, please join us uh, for the reception. Yeah.